If you've been following me for a while over on YouTube or not, um, you probably heard me speak quite a bit about what's called Kindle short reads on Amazon. But what exactly is this? And why do I keep going back to the well? Why do you keep repeating these things where there's good reason? Because they, this is really unexplored territory. Not many people are taking advantage of this. So today we're gonna talk about self-publishing short reads on Amazon and what that means. So stay tuned to today's podcast. We're getting into episode 40 and discussing self-publishing short reads on Amazon. Crazy to think, 40 episodes deep. Now you probably, if you follow me long enough, you probably are like, but Dale, you've got hundreds of podcasts. No, those were originally just the videos and the MP3s were stripped from it. I've been doing 40 actual recorded podcasts at twitch.tv slash self-publish where I do this whole thing here and I have it specifically devoted to the podcasting. So if you happen to be listening to this at various places like Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, uh, any number of those avenues, I want to thank you very much for the support. I'm starting to hear more from every single one of you, and this is so cool. And speaking of, I, I want to give a big shout out and thanks to our sponsors, Romance Publishing Academy, their comprehensive start to finish program on romance publishing. Whether you're a beginner or even more intermediate, the Romance Publishing Academy will develop your author brand and bring you results that will make you sell more books. This is not just another video course, okay? They work with you too on one personalized basis to best ensure positive results. They guarantee they'll privately coach you until you recoup your investment in the program as a minimum. And they really stress that with me. They're like, we want to make sure people make their money back. Not too many programs out there that will do that. At any rate, you can book a no pressure call with them and talk with them today. You Completely free just to chat with them and see what tips they can give you to develop your overall publishing strategy. Whether you choose to work with Romance Publishing Academy or not, okay, it's no consequence, booking a call will help propel your publishing business forward. Or the best first step in the process, you got to do this. You got to go over to dalelinks.com slash romance. You're going to download a free copy of the Romance Secrets Playbook. Right directly afterwards, you can book the call and the chat with them. I'm telling you, just spend a little bit of time with Jacob and Sue for Romance Publishing Academy and you will be blown away. The two of them are stupid smart. Now, I shouldn't say stupid and smart at the same time, but they're just on, on a different level. And I don't think there's any other self-publishing coaches out there that are crushing it like these two are. All right, so we're going to get into the short reads. What are these Kindle short reads? You hear me talking about this. I get so excited about it. Well, what exactly does this mean? So it's actually a special category. So everybody knows there's two specific types of publications you can do through Kindle Direct Publishing. And then of course is you can do eBooks or you can do print books. And when you're doing the eBooks, of course, it's gonna be in the Kindle store when you go onto the amazon.com page or uh, websites. And then of course the print books, it's gonna say uh, bookstore, it's just simple books. So in any event, um, you'll find though that with this other category, it's called Kindle Short Reads. It goes underneath the Kindle store and then it subcategorizes into something different. In theory, here's how it works. Placement comes by way of using the BISAC category, your keyword choices inside your metadata for your ebook and your page count. Now, not to be confused, not the page count that you have in your MS Word manuscript or, you know, something you've done through, say, Scrivener. It's what actually they have determined is your KENPC, which is Kindle Edition Normalized Page Count. And it typically takes about a week tops for KDP to figure out what is your KENPC for your specific ebook. And usually you'll see that if you just go over into advertise and promote underneath a specific book, you'll see it says what's your KENPC. Don't worry, you don't have to promote and advertise. You just have to go into there to see what your KENPC, and it'll tell you your page count, what they've determined it is. So again, remember, it's not what the page count of what you think it is or what you see it as. It's going to be what KDP has determined it. For some reason, you're doing eBooks by way of say Ingram Spark or say Lulu or something else like that, 
um, it gets a little bit more hairy. So for the sake of making things simple, we're just going to discuss you publishing through KDP. So where do you find the short reads? As I kind of mentioned, you just go over into Amazon, you go to the Kindle store, there's a drop down right below it and it say it should say Kindle short reads. Uh, there's a few other different ones like Kindle daily, uh, Kindle magazine or something like that. There's a few of those. Ignore those ones for now because those are really difficult to get into. Short reads is going to be a little bit easier. So who reads Kindle short reads? Okay. Essentially people that are on the go. People that want to have the information, they want it right now. Uh, it was not too long ago, and I'm sorry I have to be a big anecdotal, I don't have a link to this, but it wasn't too long ago that I had uh, done a video about the top 10 books of the last decade. And part of the information I had learned through the um, NPD book scan, which is, I think it's like Nielsen Publishing, or something like that. But either way, NPD book scan, uh, goes through and figures out what's selling the best, what's, you know, what's really trending and things like that. And one of the things they noticed is beginning of the decade at 2010, uh, eBooks were on the rise. It was just becoming, it was booming and such. And the further along we went into the decade, the more we started to see that the top 10 books had a drop in overall page count, indicating a shift in the market and the demands of the market people are starting to buy shorter books where they were originally buying books that were say 350 to 500 pages. They're getting books that are 250 pages or less. Now don't get freaked out here. Okay, you're probably going, oh, Dale, come on. I'm going to Kindle short read if it's 250 pages. Just saying, let's look at the direction of the market and where we're going so we better understand. So what are the type of Kindle short reads? So we've got six types with 24 categories each. Now it's 24 categories all the way across. Let me make things simple. I'm going to read through these. I'm going to take a nice deep breath because it is 24 categories and they apply on each of these six types. So I'm going to tell you the categories. It's art and photography, biographies and memoirs, business and money, comics and graphic novels, computers and technology, cookbooks, food, or excuse me, cookbooks, food and wine is actually all one, crafts, hobbies and home, education and reference, health, fitness, and dieting, history, humor and entertainment, LGBT, literature and fiction, mystery, thriller and suspense, parenting and relationships, politics and social sciences, religion and spirituality, romance, shocker, right? Science and math, science fiction and fantasy, self-help, sports and outdoors, teen and young adult, and travel. Now, I'm not gonna go back through and repeat those, you can probably find those inside the Kindle store if you just go on over there. But all those, those 24 categories are going to be in each of these six types of short reads. And the short reads break down like this. 15-minute reads, which are 1 to 11 pages long. Now, as I tell you these page counts, remember, it's not what is the page count on your manuscript. It is the page count on KEMPC. So in the event that you're trying to say, for instance, get yourself into a specific Kindle short read, which I'll discuss here in just a minute here as, well, as I explain everything, you find that you're like, okay, you went and you wrote a book, we'll say a manuscript, I should say manuscript because it's not really a book since it's that short, 10 pages long. And you go and you upload it and it turns out that they consider the KEMPC at say 14 pages it's going to put you into a different category. So at that point, you may have to edit and trim things down if you want to get yourself into a lower category. So 15 minutes and vice versa. Let's say you upload a manuscript and it is, let's say, 14 pages and it ends up being 10 pages and you wanted to be in the next category in the type. Uh, you're going to probably have to put more content into it. So um, any rate, so 15 minute reads are one to 11 pages. 30 minutes is 12 to 21 pages. 45 minutes is 22 to 32 pages. One hour, now notice we went from minutes to an hour. So one hour is 33 to 43 pages. 90 minutes is 44 to 64 pages. So we were going in say 10 page increments and all of a sudden we shot up to 20 page increments for 90 minutes and then two hours or more is 65 to 100 pages now one could you know if you start getting into publishing short reads one could start to kind of draw an assumption based on history 
So if you've put out like say three or four short reads that get categorized over into 15 minutes, which is between one and 11 pages, then you could probably start to say, okay, yeah, anytime I do my manuscript, it's typically about 10 pages long and that keeps it underneath the AEMPC. So I'm categorized underneath the 15 minute reads for we'll say business and money might be that. So, um, so how do you publish to Kindle short reads anyways? Okay. So much like you do any other ebook, you're just going to just publish the work through KDP. You're going to have to probably sit back, relax, because sometimes they're going to go ahead and put you into the Kindle short reads automatically. Because if they see a certain page count, you've selected a specific BISAC and you have certain keywords, they're going to automatically put you right on over into that. That's, that's okay. That's cool. That's great. That's fantastic. Nine times out of 10, I found most people are like, I didn't get into a short read. What the heck happened, Dale? Well, you can put in a request. So the very first thing you want to do is find the specific category you're wanting to do. When you do a category, not so much that you want to look at the best seller list. You want to look at the browse path, which is on the left-hand side when you go into the Amazon store. So you go into the Kindle store, you go into Kindle short reads, and you go into the drop down on the specific six different types. So let's say, for instance, you're like, your KMPC is at, I don't know, 30 pages. So that means it's a 45 minute read since it's between 22 and 32 pages. Since that's in there, you'll find where it's at. Let's say it's business and money, perfect. It's not listed on your product details. All you need to do is go into your KDP dashboard, scroll down to the bottom. You're gonna select contact us. And when you select contact us, it's gonna say add categories, I believe is one of the things. And it's gonna be underneath product details, I believe. It's pretty intuitive. But once you get into there, you can just erase whatever their automated template is, tell them the ASIN of your ebook, give them the exact browse path. So you remember I said Kindle store, Kindle short reads, we went into the specific length and then we chose the specific category. It is absolutely critical. You double check your KENPC. I've seen so many times people try to put in a request and are rejected because uh, they didn't look at their specific length of their manuscript based on KENPC. And here's the other thing is you're going to run into the same Amazon reps that go, no, 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 no. This is automated. You, this is not something you could put your book into. Um, thanks, but no thanks. That Amazon rep is probably not knowing what they're doing. Um, you can put it in there, but remember, this is not a system that you should be going and doing what's called category squatting. You shouldn't be taking your book and putting it in there because it's a quick and easy victory. You should be categorizing it according to the type of content that you're doing, right? So don't put your stuff into business and money, 15 minute reads if it's, it isn't you know where it should be. Um, realistically, you know, um, you got to kind of take a step back and think about, okay, is this going to be serving the audience? Well, okay. Think about that. Is this going to be serving the audience? And also remember this, just because you're publishing short reads doesn't mean you're going to become this overnight sensation making tons and tons and tons of money. It's just a stinking category folks. Okay. I see a lot of people that are like, they're ready to go all in on short reads without first understanding that it's just another category. So is it as lucrative as it seems? Eh, possibly. It's just another avenue for you to think about. And what I would recommend is instead of trying to churn out your next big long epic length novel, maybe consider just throwing a couple little lines out into the water. Because you're not having to risk as much when you're going into Kindle short reads. And it's also a way that you can kind of just tease an audience, give them a little taste of who you are as an author, as a publisher, and then get it to where it leads them over to your flagship book, your longer publication. And so that's Kindle Short Reads, folks. This is something I'm just so like, I'm, I'm geeked up about. I've been talking about it since 2016, but for some reason, people just won't hear me out on this one. I was one of the ones that was saying, first and foremost, no content book and low content books. And look at it blowing up. But for some reason, people just keep ignoring Kindle short reads. Folks, Kindle short reads is quite possibly easier than what you're doing there with no content and low content book. And here's the beauty of it. You don't need to sit here and pump out a bunch of lying journals with different color cover iterations, different color fonts and things like that. And, you know, the same garbage over and over and over again when you can actually just take a second 
and write up a manuscript. I had my brother write up a Kindle short read this past weekend, and it took him less than an hour to actually do a three-page short read based on live streaming and a checklist. Pretty cool, right? It took him less than an hour. Just crank that right on out. It's got great value, and it's another thing that's going to build his brand and bring in more readers and more followers to his specific product. So it's just something to think about. Hey, um, I do want to bring to your attention, of course, that um, every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on dalelinks.com slash live. I'm live over on YouTube. And I, I would love it if you came over and joined. And it's, it's always just a blast. This coming weekend, and by the time you actually get to hear this in your ear holes over through the podcast and such like that, uh, this coming weekend, I will be without glasses. If you've never seen me before on my glasses, I've had for the past 30 years. Actually, I'm getting eye surgery this this week, so I'm going to get rid of my glasses altogether. I'm excited about that. I don't, that has nothing to do with the podcast. Also, hey, when you're listening to this podcast, believe it or not, I'm actually speaking to a live studio audience on twitch.tv slash self-publish. I do this every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come and actually join in the fun and talking with me and getting to see a behind the scenes look on how I put together this podcast when you come on over. So you can join me there. You can follow me at twitch.tv slash self publisher. You can subscribe for free with the Amazon Prime membership. I show you how to do that at Twitch, or excuse me, uh, dalelinks.com slash Twitch Prime. And I, there's a video I show you the whole process sent free to you and of no cost if you're on Prime. Hey, um, as we start to wrap things up, I also want to ask just, just one last small favor. I know I've asked already. Could you subscribe or follow me on your preferred podcast platform and leave a review? And the past couple of weeks, I said I was going to actually show you, uh, talk about uh, some of the, the reviews. So I just want to kind of give a big shout out to um, someone who actually left a, um, a, an inter a review and really, really nice. It says, the number one podcast for self-publishing. I appreciate that. I don't know that I'm the number one, but if you think I'm number one, I appreciate that. I know I, I follow a few other self-publishing uh, podcasts. One of my favorite ones is uh, Brian Cohen's Sell More Books podcast. That's a good one. Check that one out. But at any rate, this five-star review comes from Japino13 uh, uh, from Apple Podcasts at Great Britain. If you're in the self-publishing business, then this podcast is Essential Listening. It provides insightful content in a clear, cohesive, and concise way every week. From listening to Dale's work over the past few years, I've managed to grow my sales significantly. I know his advice has benefited countless others too. Whether you're a newbie or experienced self-publisher, this is definitely worth subscribing to. Thank you, Dale. And thank you very much, Gipino. I appreciate the kind words, um, you know, and regardless of whether you want to give kind words or not, it would be awesome if you just drop the review for me. It makes a huge difference. Just go over to your favorite podcasting platform. So if you listen to this on Apple Podcasts, what review? If you're on SoundCloud, just put a comment on one of the, the uh, actual uh, podcasts. And as we start to wrap things up, I'm really excited that you join me here for a podcast. And it means the world to me anytime that you reach out and tell me that you do that. In the meantime, in between time, uh, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale, and I will talk to you next week.